Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy Neal, and I'm a professor of philosophy at Houston Baptist University. Today I want to talk a little bit about Stanley Hauerwas, who is perhaps America's most influential moral theologian and has had great influence on philosophers as well. In particular, I want to talk about Hauerwas's criticisms of freedom of religion. In America, of course, there is a great and venerable tradition of freedom of religion that is almost universally endorsed by the citizens. And the idea goes, the freedom of religion, which is instantiated in the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights, is something that has guaranteed safety and protection for persons of religious faith, including persons of my religious faith. I'm a Christian. And this guarantee of safety and protection is a source of great comfort and strength for those persons uh, who are of religious faith. However, Hauerwas is not so excited wholeheartedly about freedom of religion. He's not opposed to freedom of religion, yet at the same time, he considers it to be a subtle temptation. So, speaking from a Christian perspective, here is why Hauerwas thinks that freedom of religion is a subtle temptation. There are a couple of ways in which freedom of religion has in fact negatively impacted Christianity in America, according to Hauerwas. One way is that freedom of religion has led American Christians to believe that their religious allegiance, uh, while it is to God, yes, of course, ought also to be devoted to democracy and to the rights and privileges that come with being a citizen of a liberal democracy. So the freedom of religion that Americans experience has led them to believe that their religious beliefs ought to be devoted in service to uh, contemporary democratic ideals. And one can see this popularly instantiated in the beliefs of many Americans, again at a popular level, that the ideals of Christianity are the ideals of America and vice versa. At least it's an unstated assumption, if not explicitly rendered uh, very commonly. Also, Hauerwas considers freedom of religion to be a subtle temptation because he thinks that it in fact has caused a watering down or dilution of Christian belief for persons who live in America um, and endorse the Christian faith. So when one is situated in a society in which there is freedom of religion, there is no reason for one to be uh, uh, to hold one's beliefs with great conviction because there is no substantial cost that comes with endorsing freedom of religion in one's society. Uh, I'm sorry, with endorsing one's faith in one's society. There is no great cost. Uh, one doesn't face persecution. One doesn't face uh, a loss of one's job or imprisonments like one might in societies of the past. Instead, uh, one can live secure in the knowledge that uh, there are not going to be any consequences for holding the religious beliefs that one does. And for this reason, Hauerwas thinks that American Christians today and for many decades now have come to hold their religion lightly. They're not anything more than cultural Christians. They don't have any special uh, allegiance to their religious faith. Rather, for them, religious faith is something like a preference, like an ice cream preference or a preference for baseball games, uh, if one is a baseball fan. They hold their religious faith then as a matter of private interest, as a preference that they uh, indulge in because it fulfills their private ideals. It's not something that is of substantive consequence for them and that makes a difference in their lives. It's not something that actually causes them to live differently than the culture, to live otherwise than their peers in some uh, important way. Hauerwas has other criticisms of freedom of religion, but I did want to just highlight these two. And although I don't agree with everything that Hauerwas says on this topic, I do think that it is very interesting to consider his ideas and to consider in substantive ways whether in fact there has been a dilution of religious uh, conviction, including especially in my tradition, the conviction of uh, Christians, because of the ease with which it is possible to hold our faith these days and because of the way in which Christianity sometimes is confused 
in America with liberal democratic ideals.